Wild collecting food can be a lot of fun. It can be great exercise. It adds deliciousness to your diet because it's so fresh. And it might even possibly add some vitamins, minerals, nutrients to your diet that you wouldn't otherwise get for whatever reason. But you gotta know what you're doing because things like this wild carrot have toxic lookalikes like poison hemlock and if you don't know what you're doing you could have yourself a real bad accident so let's go have a look see what we can dig up and I'll show you the difference of what's good and what's bad hey guys Dave here from Wolf in the Wild Survival and I've got a toxic lookalike video for you today now apparently People will mistake one for the other, and uh, I personally don't think they look alike really at all, but what we have here is the milkweed plant. Now, in its young stage, all parts of this plant can be edible, but for the most part, people are going after young seed pods. This one here is a little bit big little bit too puffy spongy but I can't seem to find any younger ones around it might be a little late in the year for them but they, they when when you get them they're usually quite a bit smaller than this and apparently people sometimes will mistake dog bane for milkweed now we've got it growing side by side so you can see that they don't really look anything alike but from from what I'm told some people will mistake this for this and well that's not good it's not good at all Now, the dog bane normally does have a bit of a milky sap similar to milkweed, and I think it might possibly be sort of a latex, um, but it is a little late in the year, and you can see the seed pods are blowing open and kind of whatever, so it's, it's kind of dried out right now. Um, but this is mildly toxic to people. This will give you a stomach ache, diarrhea, upset stomach, um, you know, possibly make you throw up a lot. Um, and if you're allergic to latex, you don't want any part of this. If you're allergic to latex, you don't want any part of this either. But this here, if prepared right, is inedible and uh, won't bother you. Other than, I mean, if you eat too much of it and you're not used to it, it might, uh, might cause you a little bit of uh, diarrhea. So... I honestly, I, I don't think they look anything alike, but apparently it does happen from time to time where somebody will mistake the two. And it may, it gives you a pretty crummy day. So I will do this video for the sole purposes of saving somebody a lot of grief. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video, and for uh, for all you people that are leaving me such awesome comments and uh, and encouragement, here's a flower for you. Have a great day.